Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, using the DJI Mobile SDK virtual sticks with uh, Xbox remote. And let me just run the sample app. I've been adding some new capabilities, uh, previously some of these automated virtual stick functionality as well as soft sticks on your screen. But as of iOS 13, there's the ability to interface with a game controller. We recently upgraded to an Xbox from Switch, and yes, I'm definitely behind the curve when it comes to gaming, but uh, that being said, the Xbox wireless remote interested me because of the iOS 13 uh, capability to interface with that hardware. So I've added this game controller. Now, please forgive the UI, it's not very pretty. Uh, it's just a proof of concept of taking that hardware, being able to interface with the DJI Mobile SDK to send virtual stick commands. Now, you may be wondering, what's the use case? And to be honest, I've only come up with one. It's not the greatest because if you think about this, when you have your iOS device paired with your DJI remote, in most cases, it's connected via cable. And that will look something like this, remote, cable, phone and you'll have this other device your xbox remote or as you can see here the dualshock 4 i think there's the nimbus controller that is supported but that's connected via bluetooth and sending commands from the sticks and you start to think well what is the use case here and uh, aside from just being possible which i think it's really cool there's a lot of people that are familiar with the gaming remotes and so it might be a way to teach a new user how to fly uh, the aircraft using that interface versus having the DJI specific remote and you'll see in the demonstration that you have to explicitly click these to enable or disable the sticks and perhaps that becomes a, a safety measure where you can give control to someone with an Xbox remote by enabling those sticks and then disabling if they're about to let's say fly into a tree so not the best use case but wanted to uh, share that. It's kind of a neat integration of what Apple has provided with iOS 13 as well as DJI and the virtual sticks. So let's go outside and take a look at how this works. I'll explain what we have going on here before we get started. I have my Mavic Mini remote with the SDK app that we've added, the game controller option to, so that will allow us to use this Xbox remote. So the Mavic Mini remote is paired with the Mavic Mini. The iPhone is connected via cable running the SDK sample app. Then our Xbox controller is connected wirelessly via Bluetooth. We'll be sending commands from the Xbox controller to the iPhone, which the SDK is interpreting those as virtual stick commands and sending to the aircraft. So I know that's a lot going on but uh, let's just do a quick demonstration so what I'll do is I will open the game controller view uh, we can see the video feed and the first thing I'll just demonstrate is on this left trigger of the Xbox controller I have it mapped to takeoff okay so we're hovering and just for safety purposes, I went ahead and made sure that we have to enable virtual sticks on the screen. In the future, I might do something like detect that the takeoff is completed and then automatically go into virtual sticks mode. Okay, so I've set the Mavic Mini remote down and now we're controlling with the Xbox remote via virtual sticks. It's pretty sensitive. The uh, yaw and pit, the pitch and roll are a bit sketchy. So, for example, if I want to just give really clean commands, I'm just going to sort of nudge and then hold the stick in that position. If I do any quick adjustments, it tends to oscillate a little bit, but uh, we can probably tune that a little better. And those commands are then being streamed to the flight controller at 20 hertz, so 20 times a second. But, I mean, to be honest, it controls really well. The fact that you can have this level of granularity 
by sending commands to the Mavic Mini flight controller is pretty amazing. All right, so I'll just bring it back in. And then on the right trigger here, I have a map to landing. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the integration of the remote and virtual sticks. And I'm going to put a link to this repository below. This is a fork of the mobile SDK. Please feel free to check it out, get in here, make some tweaks, submit a pull request. Just experiment with it and see what you think. I'll leave you with the fact that the integration with how the remote streams data is Pretty straightforward, it maps very well to the virtual sticks interface of the SDK, but you can see here the left thumbstick publishes the event and we're multiplying that by 45, that's 45 degrees per second on the yaw. Then we have three meters per second on throttle, roll and pitch. So we'll be able to multiply the value that's coming from the stick with all the way up or all the way down of being positive one and negative one. So for my testing and demonstration purposes, we were operating at three meters per second. You can obviously tweak this, you could make this configurable, but all in all, uh, positive experience so far. I'm going to put a link to the SDK playlist below. Please subscribe to that. I'll be putting more content out there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.